Marker. Action. This film is an absurdist dark comedy. Holla, 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 holla. With magical realism. Inspired by the world of telemarketing. That is intriguing. Hey, hello. Um, uh, Mr. Davison, cash the screen here. Sorry to buy. When this film came my way, I was like, it's a new dawn, it's a new day. You're gonna go on a journey unlike anything you've ever seen before. This is insane, and I love it. It's called Sorry to Bother You. Awesome. Oh, yeah. All right. What always struck me about Boots was just the intersection of like really rad art and activism. I've been wanting to make films for many years, and during that time that I wasn't making films, I was making music. I listened to his music in high school, and every one of his albums sort of told a complete story, and I, and I loved that. And then when this kind of came up, and they said, Boots Riley's directing, and I said, the guy from The Coup? They go, yeah, I go, oh, awesome. I had no connection to Hollywood at all. Decided, okay, well, I'll make an album inspired by the screenplay, and maybe that can get some stuff going. I just really need a job. 40 on two. Cassius Green is just a guy who's really trying to figure life out. And so he meets Langston, and played by Danny Glover, who opens up and says, Let me give you a tip. You want to make some money here? Use your white voice. My white voice? I'm not talking about Will Smith's wife. Like this young blood. Hey, Mr. Kramer. This is Langston from Regal View. It's such an off-the-wall, crazy, imaginative script in a way that can only come from someone like Boots. This is your moment. Don't waste it. Woo -woo! Woo -woo! You're going upstairs, Power Caller. They even have their own elevator. Welcome, Power Caller. I hope you did not masturbate today. We need you sharp and ready to go. You know, before we shoot, like, after we get out of the, the trailer, we go, for Boots! Because this was special for a lot of us. Anything that I'm going to do is going to involve me trying to make the world better. We can fight back. We can change things. That's what I'm talking about! I think what you're seeing is that this is a real desire for marginalized groups to be dignified. You don't have to sell out. I'm not selling out. Here's the starting salary. Well, man, I'm going to have to get me some new suits. That, to me, is why a film like Sorry to Bother You is right on time. Oh yeah, all right.